تذكر يوما كنت تعانق دمعة الفكر تناجي الله في صبر وترجو رحمة Yo guys, welcome to another video today. It's your boy Abbas here and today I'm gonna review the Ben Askren and Jake Paul. Jake Paul vs Ben Askren fight, right? Just gonna say apparently he wins. So we're gonna watch this video. Hamza will win me but he has to go somewhere. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep now. I'm lazy. Make sure you like, subscribe to this guy's YouTube channel. More things coming. Yes, thank you. Alright, let's watch this two minute video. Oh God! That's still a dive though. Let me just say that, first of all, okay, fine, you know, a round of applause for Jake for being brave, fighting people who are not boxers, right? Come on, man. You fought Deji, he's not a boxer. You fought Gabe, he's not a boxer. Deji broke your nose, remember that? Gabe, he was unlucky because you're, he's taller than Gabe and he lost his balance. Or if Gabe would have unleashed his power, he would have got him. Obviously, Jake's bigger than him and he's got a high arm distance. And then you fought Nathan, who's a basketball player, ex NBA player, like, fam, you're fighting people and you fought a UFC champion. You fought a basketball player who doesn't, who doesn't know anything about boxing. He's only been training for like three months, yeah? You fight Ben Askin, one of the best UFCs, you know, wrestlers or champion, whatever. I'm not looked into him that much. You won him by one punch. And uh, Ben's like practicing, like, you know. And I've seen, him, I've seen a video after, or on Instagram or something. He looks alright. I was watching the video on YouTube. The guy goes, oh, Ben looks alright. He looks happy. He looks like nothing's happened to him. He got clipped on the face. I think because he must have not put his guard up or whatever. It must be that punch where you don't see it coming. So obviously, it's clipped him. Ben's fallen down all of a sudden. I'm sure he's got, I'm sure he's had knees. He's a UFC fighter, so he's, he's been kicked in the head, been punched, he's been punched harder than that, you know? And the fact is that he just drops down, and the ref, the ref is like, oh yeah, yeah, we'll cancel it, we'll cancel it. We'll, give him a go, man, like, let him run. But you can see by the video that Ben's fainting his punches. Now fam, Fuzi got punched in the face, Fuzi stood up. Fuzi, Fuzi and Slim, when they fall, even though it looked a bit fixed-ish, because Fuzi had a mental breakdown in his head, and he didn't guard up, he got punched in the face, Fuzi still tried to punch back. On the other hand, Ben's a professional fighter and he got KO'd by one punch or like a few. And then he hugged him, that was okay. My opinion, I think I'm with the people, it's rigged. You know, like, okay, his defense is not the best, but you're fighting against a YouTuber, right? He's been in boxing for two years. Like, you know, Ben's not really, he, not really, he doesn't really give too tossed about, you know, losing or winning because at the end of the day, he gets the money in it. He gets the money from Jake. They probably made a deal anyway. Who I think he should fight is either Tom Fury or someone who is UK. JJ, I'm not really entirely sure. Like, because KSI, he's been focused on his music, his YouTube with sign men, you know, doing bits and bobs. So, JJ, if JJ's gonna fight him, he'll KO him. JJ will win. I got, I got to believe. Come on, man. Like, it's JJ, it's KSI. We got, we gotta back him up. UK versus USA. JJ's gonna toss him up. But Tom Fury, I think he's probably, forget the UFC, you you bring in UFC fighters who can't do boxing and you box people who are not a boxer forever. Fight Tom Fury. Tom Fury will absolutely cane him. He'll beat the crap out of him. I'm fasting too, so I'm not gonna swear. Tom Fury, I I want Tom Fury versus Jake Paul. That's who that's the next fight. That's the next fight. JJ, he's too busy with other stuff in his life. He's got other he's got his music and YouTube that he's focused on. Boxing's not his thingy. Tom Fury, he even said himself, I'm gonna watch his I'm gonna watch the BT one, yeah. I've watched the BT version. This is what he said. This is two days I think before the fight. He had an interview with BT Sports, yeah. I've watched it. So this is what he says. The man's um, you know, he's known in his own right, but I do believe in the boxing world he's trying to use my last name, Tyson's name to get him talked about inside the boxing world but at the end of the day we all know what he's about he wants to fight people who can't fight he wants to keep winning he doesn't want to test himself as a boxer so um that's why i asked him if he wanted to fight and he ran away scared didn't he probably i'll probably watch the highlights the next day or something like that. it's not something i'll probably stay up for because you just know what, what's going to happen at the end of the day um so it's literally like you know a dog fighting a mouse it's, it's no good you know you know what's going to happen there ben, ben Askren's a wrestler he can't fight, um, standing up, and you see it in all of his fights, you know, he, he goes straight to the ground. Okay, so Jake Paul, assuming he wins that, then calls you out straight afterwards, uh, and he's actually being serious, would you fight? I'll fight Jake Paul right now. Um, Jake Paul's nothing to me. I have hardest bars in the gym every single day, so when Jake Paul gets mentioned to me, I'd, honestly, my heartbeat doesn't even rise up because I've had hard days in the gym. 
you know, going on the pads with my dad every day in the gym is harder than what Jake Paul ever, I'll ever test me against. And of course, it's Tyson who stirred the pot uh, initially. No surprises there. No, nope, no surprises there. Tyson's always had that one, and he, but at the end of the day, it was a good one. Uh, all good for the social media, got people talking, and it is an interesting fight, you know. No matter what you say about it, you know, it would get views, people would tune in to see it. So, you know, if he's got a pair of knackers, you know where to come and see him. If you have a pair of knackers, you know where to see me. That's Tommy Fury, lad. But I think, I think Tom Fury versus Jake Paul, that should be the next fight he's fighting. And then Hicks running away from Tom. Just fight him, that's it. Like, if you even said that he's ready to box him, like, then and there. Jake Paul's probably gotten stronger too. I'm not going to say he's gone weak or anything. He's gone sharper a little bit. He's intelligent. But that's just appalling. And then you have Snoop Dogg in the background swearing, saying the F word and this and that. Like, you could tell it's just a joke. And then at the end, uh, my mate said, at the end, he goes and has a drink with him. And I saw that on Instagram. And, uh, you know, like, you know, it's like, it's just a professional fight. You no, know, it's just like, it's just going in. Having a party with his friends or whoever, and you know, just take advantage. Jake versus Fury next. Tom Fury. I think that should happen. I believe. I fully believe in Fury. Fury is somewhat sharper. He's gonna just annihilate Jake. That which he needs. Someone's gonna do it. I prefer Tom Fury to do it. You know. Next fight, Tom Fury versus Jake Paul. I think that'd be smashing. Thank you for watching. Hope you like my reaction. My camera fell too, which is um. It's alright, so don't worry. Hamza's gone to sleep. Enjoy your afternoon, day, morning, night, wherever you are. Thanks, bye. You can't fight uh, standing up when you see it in all of his fights.